Good morning, folks. Just in case anyone is still here after the solar eclipse caused the rapture, CERN created a black hole in the New Madrid Fault swallowed the central United States, I figured let's go over some science. Let's start with our star. The last 24 hours were calm, but with signs of a resurgence in minor activity. We're watching the big plasma filament facing Earth and awaiting the return of major sunspot groups towards the end of the week. Right now, the sunspots and solar flaring are minimal and small, with only two active regions on the Earth-facing side. We're expecting low levels of space weather for the next couple of days, but an uptick is expected in the next two weeks here. We'll have our eyes on it. We had a moderately strong earthquake in Indonesia this morning, 6.6. .6. Always amazes me that the West Pacific gets these almost weekly. They never seem to cause much damage when they would absolutely wreck any American city. Folks, while the SDO satellite on its polar orbit only caught a glimmer of the eclipse, which you can see bottom right here, the rest of the country not hiding scared for their lives got an amazing show. Since eclipse pictures are all over the net, figured I would show what the GOES satellite saw, shadow traversing the continent here coast to coast in what won't happen again for 20 years. For the few of you who were paying attention several years ago when we said the superconductivity stuff was fake, vindication. The full report about how this guy faked everything has been released. It's pretty wild to read. Wonder when they're going to do this for the climate community and dark matter. I'm not holding my breath. On to some cool stuff here. Desi has mapped the entire cosmos that has been logged with various telescopes over the years and compiled a distance video showing what a fly-through would look like. The work is just beginning, however. Their data must compete with the new revelation that dark energy might not be real, therefore requiring alternative explanations for the expansive dynamics of the cosmos over time. Still pretty, though. But much more satisfying when astronomers admit they don't know something. This plasma cloud 100 million light years away doesn't look very spectacular, but it's enormous and it does not have a host galaxy. The lack of a nucleus and the overall shape defy all known science, and after talking with half my contacts in the field last night, we don't know what it is either. Link is below, would love your thoughts. Lastly folks. I can remember when the first recurrent NOVA event was discovered in M31. Now we've got a dozen new ones to add to the growing list of repeating stellar blasts in our neighboring galaxy, not to mention all the ones they know about here in the Milky Way. This field has exploded in the last six years, stars going boom over and over again. For those of you who are still experiencing life on Earth after yesterday's apocalypse, come see us on April 16th. Tickets are found at the link below, lunch is included. Looking forward to shaking your hand and chatting about Observer stuff. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.